Welcome back to Let's Play Penumbra Necrolog. Last time I got the living daylight spooked out of me. Whew. That, that really got me. I, I'm wondering if I'm not supposed to go that way. I don't have the coke I need to, the, the, uh, the soda can I need to get the thermostat to change. So I'm wondering if that was a mild red herring. And I'm going to explore this area. And, oh, thank goodness. It's a save point. Though this game has told me that that's not always safe, so I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm safe, but inside I still feel anxious, as if someone was standing right behind my back. Please don't be somebody standing right behind my back. Ugh. Way to psych me out, game. Set player. I really want to listen to that one. I want to listen to that one, but I want to listen to that one. This one's red. Name, Elof Carpenter. Rank, elevated. Status, Code C, imprisoned. We were so close. And yet, following the release of the Turngate virus nine months ago, my what? personal security has at last been compromised. Wait a second. Yesterday, an unfamiliar survivor arrived in the next door cell. It seems unlikely I will see him again. Wait, that's the recording from Requiem. Nick. Huh. Well, that was a slight ways. So you're saying I do have to go this way? Huh. I'm still coming down off that adrenaline shock from <laughs> from that little moment before. <laughs> uh, still halfway expecting him to jump out at me for no reason. Well. You know, there's times where a, uh, a second scare at the same point work, and a time when you can't do it. It's, it's uh, really kind of a creative thing. Give me soda. Give me soda. Puzzle is different. those ways, which leaves this way, which leaves the freezer. See, Philip knows. I hope I didn't need that ketchup. That sure would be a shame. I don't know why I stuck my face up to it, because that's just asking for a jump scare. I can still pick up this thing. This odd blob of concrete. Can I... Nope. <laughs> I didn't think it would one-hit me. Yes, Philip, you don't have a soda can with you. I think you have more important things to worry about, like being dead. Hmm. Ah, I was gonna pry the soda machine open. Do I still have a crowbar? Yes. Wait, locked door? Light coming in through a crack. Is there a soda down there? Nope. Clarence, give me some advice before we both die. I 
<laughs> yes, throw the radio at it. That'll, that'll make everything better. Aha! I find it really annoying I keep breaking my crowbars. But the door is open now. It can shut itself again. Creeps me out. I don't like this place. It has all the... It's got all the terrifying vibes of Black Plague. Like, they did a very good job with that. Nice. <laughs> I'm hitting back in the vent. Okay, we know there's an infected in there, but we don't know which door. I'm betting it's that one that was partly blocked, and maybe I wasn't supposed to go in there. But what if he comes out of that door the moment I wait? Well, that answers that. Find that door then, clearly. Go it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Actually, one second. There we go. Just uh, closing that out so it won't pop back up. I'm worried because I heard an infected. Or was that just what I was supposed to think I heard? Or is he somewhere else and I just completely walked past him? <gasps> Man. Vent tool, valve tool works for me. Now let's see if I can get back to the vent. without attracting the attention of Mr. Grumpy, and I don't know where he's at, so I'm just going to run. Forget it. Into the vent we go. are even placed. I love that. Well, there's a there's a rotting body here. I can't imagine why it smells bad. I'm gonna go through this door because the other door was only something I went through to get through this door in the other game, but they're probably accounting for that and messing with my head. effects are still as beautiful as ever. Just take a second to appreciate that. That's so pretty. I 
can't look out the window. I'm gonna do the little clicky click thing. Uh, at least they didn't uh, throw an infected at the window. Like he just catapults at the window and sticks to it. Spider infected. Amabel, this is Julia Kwan, a member of the rescue group. I think now, when the whole group is dead, there's no reason to hide who we really are. Someone actually sent a message about the critical situation at the station. Though his identity is unknown to us. We were hired by the archaic cast who had organized the whole project and built the station. We knew the exact number of survivors. It was you, Amabel, the person who sent the letter, and two other people whose identities were unknown. Also, after you mentioned Philip, he, like you, became the target of our search. The cast said that you have the most accurate information about what had happened. I feel after like questioning, we would be released that they would compensate the moral damage. But when I began to participate in the operation, I realized that nothing good awaits you from them. Everything that happened in the station should be kept secret. These are the words of one of the members of the cast. We settled in the main core of the station. Our plan was to detect signs of life on the station, watch the surveillance monitors, and eventually provide the information to the archaic. However, our plans quickly failed. We were studying the plans of the station when we suddenly heard a strange humming noise. For some time it was moving below us, but then suddenly a gigantic worm burst into the room through the wall. I managed to escape and hide in the mess hall, but the rest of us were less fortunate. They tried to shoot at it, but it was useless. We just devoured them all. In general, our entire group is now dead, except for me. I'm afraid that now. Oh no! Failure once again! What a pity! Our monkey Philip is like a magnet dragging into the grave every person he rests his hopes on. Strange that she didn't have any keys, which would certainly have helped you in the future. And there isn't even a cheese sandwich here. Are you still on about that sandwich, Philip? In, uh, for those that didn't see Black Plague, uh, Clarence complains that every dead body we find always has a key card, a passcode, a journal, and, or some plot item, basically, and, and complains that they never have, oh, I don't know, a cheese sandwich, maybe? And then he goes, what? I'm hungry. It's uh, really rather funny, but it, it's strange that he still remarks about that. He must really want that sandwich. Huh. Maybe I should have run in there. Hmm. See, now I'm curious what would have happened if I had just run in here, but uh, the way the game works, even if I died at this point, it would still have already done that. Hmm. Although... Well, we're at a save point, and we're almost at the 15 minute mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. And I'm totally not planning to try to load a previous save and see what happens. Um, and I will see you next time.